Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bonner here, Power Training TV. So I received a question, I figured I could make a quick little video for you guys because I'm utilizing these with my guys training right now. So I figured let me go ahead and share with you what I'm doing. The guy asked me uh, if he could give some, if I could give him some row variations. So I started thinking about it and I said, oh, let me just pull the two that I'm using with some of my athletes now. Uh, for row variations, obviously there's a bunch out there. You could do so much, especially when you start integrate, integrating movements. Uh, face pulls, one arm rows, pen lay rows, uh, barbell rows, dumbbell rows, incline rows, face, I mean there's, there's endless ones. Two that I'm using right now that you may not be using, I'll share with you. The first one is gonna be a version of the uh, one arm row. This could be done with a dumbbell or a kettlebell. But essentially all I'm having my athletes do is line up a little bit farther away from the thing, from the uh, bench or some kind of platform. I'm having them grab it. Now the trick to this is, is I have them grip it with the thumb back. When they do this, it puts more stretch, not only on the anterior, uh, posterior deltoid, but also on the back. More stretch means we're working more muscle, right? So I just have them coming here, and I have them pulling here, as opposed to just here, I have them twisting. So that little twist right there actually adds a lot to the actual movement. The other one that I have been doing is an integrated cable row. So if you come over here real quick. <clears throat> the other one I've done, we usually do this with a rope or a handle, and essentially all I have them do is open on the split stance, I have them point one leg, uh, one foot towards the actual cable machine, and one foot at 90 degrees, okay? So essentially all they're doing is from here, I'm having them drive it. As they twist, they're rowing. Boom. Boom. Now obviously this can be done like this, and you can get a little more contraction, but to integrate it, I really like to twist and then drive that elbow back. And this is a little bit more explosive, it starts from the ground up, a lot more athletic. Those are two variations I'm using with my athletes on two separate days. Try them out, I hope that helps, I'll watch you guys next time. I don't want to be uh, an, an icon, um, I want to be an idea, you know, I want to represent an idea. So look, for a top speed exercise today, I wanted to share with you guys something that I think is such a simple tool you can utilize to correct a lot of your top speed. So often I talk about the mechanics of the lower body and cycling when you're in top speed. 